So today I'm gonna to be answering a question from a guy that's going through a bit of a difficult situation with a girl that he's crushing on at his church. He got the idea that she liked him, and so after a time, they connected up and he got her information. He tried to ask her out, but then he made a couple of mistakes that caused her to pull away, but then she came back to him and then he did something else that caused her to pull away again. And now he's wondering if it's even worth trying to chase after this woman. And he's also wondering if the reason she's acting this way is because of her culture or because he messed up. He can't figure it out. And so that's what I'm here to do is to help him figure out the situation and what he should do next. By the way, guys, if you have situations you're going through and you want me to answer them on the show, you can write to me at harrywilmington at gmail.com. You can also leave comments underneath any of my videos. And if you need more in-depth looks into what you're going through, you can go to harrywilmington.com and check out my coaching tab, as well as my various eBooks and programs available at the website, all right? So with that said, let's get into this guy's question. So he says, there's this girl who I like at my local church. We serve in the same ministry. I like her. She liked me, past tense. She would give me compliments, laugh at my jokes and some other common stuff. And we feel really comfortable around each other. And there's just overall a good vibe in general. So I'll start out by saying that it's good that this woman is complimenting him and laughing at his jokes, right? But these, these kind of signs, while they're, they're good in theory, the reality is women at large are genuinely just friendly people. And so while it's great that she's complimenting and laughing at jokes, they do that to men that they also are not trying to date. But, but the thing with guys is, as men, we don't typically go around trying to compliment other men or trying to compliment women all that much unless we have some kind of attraction to them. And so you can get confused when a woman's coming to you and giving you compliments and laughing at your jokes and thinking, these are the, the true telltale signs that she must like me. And again, those are signs that indicate there could potentially be interest, but these are very low level signs. And so you need signs that are a bit bigger than just her complimenting you and laughing at your jokes to really assess her desire for it. So, so we'll continue on. Um, he also said that we feel comfortable around each other. Again, women are designed to try to make you feel comfortable because they want to get along with everybody. They don't want any kind of bad vibes to be out there. So again, while you may feel comfortable around her and that's a good sign and that's indicative of the kind of like that you're building for her, you, that, that is a very low level sign. You gotta look for more stuff to indicate that she wants you beyond just being friendly or having a potential friendship. So then he says, um, so overall good vibe, this kind of made me aware that she likes me because she's naturally shy, like she doesn't talk unless spoken directly to. Okay, so you're, you're getting a read, but part of this read that you're getting is a bit of a projection because you're thinking, she's shy, she doesn't talk to anybody, but she talks to me. I can assure you, when you're not around this girl and she's in other environments, she's probably able to talk to people at some point, okay? So again, it, it, these are all things, I'm trying to get into the mindset that these signs, while they're good to look for, you need to be doing things to get bigger indicators, things like, asking them on dates, things like seeing if they actually show up for said dates, things like, is she trying to touch you and feel you during the course of dates? Or even if you're just talking to her in church, is she walking next to you and brushing up against you? Is she trying to touch your arm when she's talk, telling you a story? Those are gonna be better signs than just what you've given me here. All this, what you've given me here, it could be a read from a woman that wants you to potentially ask her out, or it could be a read from a woman that just likes you as a friend and is doing something friendly that most girls would do. Continuing, he says, so one day I asked her out, I got her number, and I texted her for like three days or something, and then she friend zoned me. Now, if you've seen my shows before, I have to ask you the question, why is it you think that she friend zoned you after three days of texting? And the answer is because women don't like it when men are texting them all the time. You're thinking you're excited about getting her number and you're excited about getting to know her and you wanna to talk to her all the time. But as I stress on this show time and time again, texting kills attraction. And when a woman gives you her number, that, that, that is actually a great sign, but most men get a woman's number 
and then use it in the wrong way. The phone is not designed for you to try to build rapport or build some kind of connection. The goal of getting the phone number is to be able to hit her up later to ask her out. Nothing more, nothing less. We're not sending good morning texts. We're not sending how's your day texts. We're not sending her funny memes or news stories that we saw online or on Instagram or on Insta or Snapchat. We are using the phone to hit her up, to ask her for dates. And when you do more than that, you're gonna to start to find, as you get older, that you're gonna start seeing a connection between the amount of times that you're texting women and the number of women that end up rejecting you that at one time seemed excited to give you their number. And you're a younger guy, so I'm gonna say now, as an older guy, I can tell you, I've had way more dating success with women who I texted less or who I let initiate text to me first than I ever have with women that I was trying to text all the time. So you can continue to learn this the hard way by continuing to text women because you're overly excited or you can lessen your text and you can only use a woman's number to specifically get dates. Because I can assure you, even if she was kind of interested, you texting her nonstop for three days and at no point trying to ask her on a date, that is what got you into the friend zone. You might not be able to see it now, but I can assure you that's why that happened. So then he says, after that, I let it go for a couple of months and then we started talking back again. And this time I could really see that she liked me and obviously I like her too, right? Well, hold on there. We have to first ask the question, who reinitiated contact? Like you said, you stopped contacting her for like two months and then it just kind of started up again. Did you reach out to her first? or did she reach out to you? Now, regardless of who reached out to whom, the point is at the point that you get, that whoever reached out, it seems to me that it fell back into the pattern of, oh, we're talking again, I can now text her all the time. Again, you're using texting now as a barometer to try to indicate where her like is for you. And I'm telling you, women text their female friends all the time, it doesn't mean they wanna date them. But what that does mean is that because she's used to texting her female friends all the time, if you get into a situation where you're texting her nonstop, she's gonna also feel as though you're in the same lane as her female friends. She's not trying to date her female friends, ergo, if you give her the same feeling, she's not gonna try to date you either, okay? So again, you gotta get out of this trap of texting nonstop and of trying to hit her up every single day. Again, the number is only used to get dates, that's it. So then he says, he thinks he's thinking because she's texting him as much that she must like him also. Again, you can't use that as a read. She, right, for all we know right now, she's just being friendly. So then he says, then one day we were texting and I kind of dropped a big hint that I liked her. But to be honest, I've been dropping hints this whole freaking time. Then the next time I saw her at church, she was acting really weird. Kind of giving me the cold behavior and that was like four weeks ago maybe, so I went no contact for two weeks, two to three weeks, then a hurricane came up, I hit her up to make sure she was good, and now I'm on no contact again. So a lot's happening here, but let's go back to, you hit her up, you told her or hinted to her that you liked her. That, my friend, is also what is killing this thing, because here's the thing about your like for her, it doesn't matter. All that matters to her is how she feels about you. And there are too many guys that think, if I just tell a woman how I feel, then that'll make her want to open up to how she feels about me. And she's probably holding back on her feelings because she doesn't know how I feel. Women never care how you feel until they feel a thing for you first. And so you trying to do this reveal or this big hint to her that you like her, spoiler guy, one, she probably already knew. But the thing of it is, is that had you just asked her on a date, you could have gotten a lot of this out of the way. And you might be thinking, but Harry, if I ask her on a date, isn't that letting her know that I like her? On some level, yes, but you gotta understand, women take a date ask as simply an inquiry. To her, it's a guy saying, you know what? You're kinda cool, there might be something here, but I don't know about that yet, and honestly, I don't know if, beyond asking you on a date, if I wanna actually be with you long term. But I say, you know what, let's go get some food and find out. And so, that's why asking women for a date is actually a better way to start the romance dynamic happening than to come out and just say, hey, I really like you, because asking a woman for a date is saying, 
I wanna find out more about you because I'm not sure what feelings I have for you. Hinting to a woman that you like her is, is to her feeling like, I already like you and we should already be going out and I need you to decide about me right now because I'm letting you know my feelings, so therefore you need to have the exact same feelings so we can darn near be together and darn near get married. And that's what you're laying on a woman's lap feeling wise when you say these big hints that indicate you like them. So while you may think asking for a date is the thing that's giving away your like, it's actually not. It's just giving away you wanna find out more about her. You saying you like her or you hinting at it is you emphatically saying, I like you now, make a decision about me, and if she's not there, you're gonna get her ghosting you, her not wanting to contact you, her acting weird around you at church. So you made a mistake there, guy. You shouldn't have told any like, and to be realistic, you don't actually know if you like her. Like, as men, we get feelings very quickly because our bodies are designed to go out there and hunt and plant seed. So any woman we look at for 10 seconds that has the right curves and stuff, we think, yes, I like her automatically. You gotta get past how she looks and any little interactions you've had and start thinking long-term. Like long-term, do you know about her likes, her dislikes, where you guys match up politically, religiously, about having kids or not having kids? And until you know those things, you don't have a like, you have a lustful desire for somebody, and that's a good thing to propel you to ask women out, but you thinking you have to come with them now saying, I like you, when in reality, you don't actually have a full like yet, that's what's going to kill the momentum for you with women, and they're gonna start to get away from you as a result. So then he says, um, you went no contact and then you hit her up. So dude, how no contact works is this. You decide you're not gonna contact her for any reason and you go on and live your life and if you leave her alone, there's a chance that she may decide to hit you up after she realizes a few weeks, I haven't heard from this guy, I kinda miss him, I wanna see what's up. But you reaching out to her, that breaks no contact and that lets her still know that you're on some level still obsessed with her. So if you're doing no contact, it means you walk away completely unless of course she comes back and wants to connect with you, all right? And in the meantime, you should be looking at other women because this woman is not yours and you need to have other women that you're talking to so you'll get out of this whole one-itis cycle whereby you're liking this one woman so much that you're making all these mistakes that you wouldn't make if you had other women that you were entertaining offers from. So then he says, now I'm trying to figure out if it's just like a culture thing because she is Puerto Rican and lives at home with her parents or if she's testing me or if I'm just wasting my time. Now I'm giving, now she's giving me the silent treatment. So here's the thing, guy. I know it can feel like a woman's testing you when you're not getting your way. And I've done a video called Pull Away Test and I say in that video that it's not that a woman is purposely doing a test. What the test is is that women ghost you and it tests your ability to stay emotionally in control, not freak out, and wanna contact them all the time. And most men are gonna fail that test. Again, it's not what she's purposely putting on you. It's a test that you yourself have to go through when women lose interest. So no, this is not about her being Puerto Rican. She's not trying to test you, and she's not trying to waste your time. What happened is you made some simple mistakes that as a young dater you don't know about yet, and that has caused her to lose interest because it gave her the ick feeling. That is it. And here's the thing, guy, is that the mistakes that you made, they're not hard things to fix. The hardest part is having the discipline to learn what those mistakes were and then not making those same mistakes again when the next woman comes around. So for example, texting. You texting her a whole lot, killed this thing early on. Now the question is, when the next woman comes along that you had the hots for and you wanna reach out to all the time, are you gonna be able to learn the lesson from this woman and not text her all the time or are you going to continue to text her nonstop? If you don't have the discipline to not only learn that lesson but to follow through and not text all the time, then you will continue to fail with women. But that's the problem that most guys have at large is that most men, unfortunately, they don't really have the tools they need to succeed or the discipline, and they oftentimes don't have the right roadmap of how attraction works. Like I had to learn and create a roadmap that has worked time and time for me again in order to meet women, attract them, get them on dates, and eventually land in relationships. And so I have a program that encompasses all of my teachings over the years that I call the Get Girls Academy, which you can check out at harrywilmington.com. 
www.thinkandgrowthpodcast.com. You can check out everything that's in it. And if you think that it's right for you, we'd love to have you join. It's a small monthly fee, but I guarantee you, not only will you learn the ins and outs of how to do online dating, how to do in-person dating, cold approaches, and what to do on dates. You'll learn how to communicate better with women. You'll get to learn from other experts besides me about the ins and outs of how dating works in a variety of facets and very various areas. Like you can learn all this stuff by joining the Get Girls Academy, which again, check that out at harrywilmington.com. We would love to have you in so you can start bettering your dating life and be able to get women like this and not make the mistake the next time they come across your way. Anyway, that's all I got for today. For the rest of you, if you have questions you wanna ask me on one of these shows, write to me at harrywilmington at gmail.com. Also guys, I have now changed over my website, so it is no longer introvertdatingsuccess.com, although if you type that up, you'll still get the website, but go to harrywilmington.com, you'll get the same programs and the same stuff, but I'm changing over the focus slightly from just being about introverted men to being about men at large. So again, go to harrywilmington.com, check out my eBooks, audiobooks and programs, all designed to help you become a more effective dater and get the women that you truly desire. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a like and a subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace.